We have a super full moon in Pisces on August 31st, and this full moon is going to be very intense and very serious. In this video, I'll be explaining how the full moon is affecting the collective, how it affects each zodiac sign, and if you want to keep up to date with the most important astrological events, be sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. So Gemini, Virgo, Sagittarius, and Pisces placements are most affected by this full moon, although everyone will be feeling the effects of this. The full moon is conjunct Saturn, so you are going to have a harsh reality check around this time, and a major truth is going to come to the light. You are going to have major realizations. Your intuition is going to be on point as well. So you may be seeing truths. You may be seeing past lies that you weren't be able to see before. Around this time, you may be forced to make a very serious and tough decision. And you may feel a lot of pressure to make major changes in your life as well. You may find yourself feeling a bit fearful about the future around this time. So you may be fearful about the future of a relationship. You may be fearful about the future of your career. So don't allow fear to influence you, to completely completely drive you insane. Try not to make fear-driven moves, rather you want to try to make moves that come from a place of strength. You may find yourself dealing with challenging situations or negative attitudes, and there could be drama or conflict between you and the people around you. So between you and your family members, a romantic partner, your friends, etc. And around this full moon, you can expect to be slowly but surely hustling towards the top. So there's going to be a very slow burn when it comes to working steadily towards the top. And this full moon really focuses on doing the work now so that in the future, you can reap the rewards of your hard work and effort. So you may not yet be gaining the recognition for your work, but you are putting the work in now so that in the future, you can gain that recognition that you deserve. This is a time where you will be climbing the ladder to get to the top, where you will be slowly but surely creating better strategies and new plans that will help you make it to where you want to go. So expect a hustle. And because we also have Mercury retrograde happening at the same time, alongside five other retrogrades, you aren't going to be able to run away from your emotions. Now is the time when you are going to have to look inward and you may find yourself really reflecting on situations or people from the past. This is really the time for introspection, self-reflection, being transported back to the past so that you can relive your past memories. You may realize that there are situations that are unresolved from your past. For example, if you have unresolved issues with an ex or there may be a situation that you haven't completed yet, for example, a work project, you may find yourself going back to that in order to resolve that. So going back to an ex-partner so that you can resolve issues that you have with them or going back to that situation so that you can finally complete it. You are not going to be able to escape the emotions that come up during this full moon. And this is probably the most emotional full moon we are going to have all year. This is the most emotional full moon we are going to have in 2023, but it's also going to be the most intuitive full moon. So definitely listen to your gut. If you've been trying to figure out the truth about something, try to figure out something. Now is the time when you can have major realizations and your gut will 99% of the time be right. This is going to be an extremely sober full moon where you are really going to see reality for what it truly is. This is also a time where you and everyone else is going to be feeling emotionally unstable. So you may be acting insane and unhinged and other people will be as well, which is why, like I mentioned before, try to avoid conflict. But this is also a time where you're likely going to have someone significant in your life be of emotional support to you. So there may be one or more people such as a significant partner, a friend, a family member who is there that you can rely on and vice versa they can rely on you so expect little therapy sessions between you and the people that are close to you this is likely a time where you are going to enter hermit mode and you are going to want to seal yourself off from the world and this is actually a really good time for isolation as well so you can expect to spend a lot of time by yourself just reflecting on life and getting over negative emotions this is an excellent transit for applying yourself diligently to manage responsibilities and get hard work done and out of the way this is also a really good time to push yourself very hard towards your current goals and aspirations to give yourself more motivation and to force yourself to do the hard work even when you don't feel like it you're going to feel very emotionally invested in putting in the work in order to achieve your dreams this is also a wonderful time to allow yourself to be vulnerable with people. So if there's something that you need to get off your chest, for example, you feel like you need to tell your current partner something, you want to reach out to an ex, or you feel like you have to get something off your chest to your friends or your family members, this is a really good time for expressing yourself and getting those emotions out because this is also going to be a time of mutual understanding. People are going to be more empathetic and compassionate around this time. This is also the best full moon out of the entire year 
to work on a creative project. You are going to have those creative juices flowing. So if you want to turn your creative project into a success, now is the best time to do it. It's a really great time to channel your emotions into creative projects such as writing, dance, singing, music, art, fashion, etc. You're going to be very imaginative around this time, so you may have very vivid dreams and you can expect to have bursts and flashes of intuition. For example, you may get some sort of vision in your mind and you may uncover some sort of truth, like a that's so raven moment. During this full moon, you are also going to be releasing things, people and situations that no longer serve you on your higher purpose in life. Like I mentioned before, this full moon is very motivational and you will feel that drive to really push yourself towards greatness. And because full moons are all about letting go, this full moon will have a major focus on really letting go of everything that has been holding you back from your success, from your happiness, from your potential. And because this full moon is going to bring so much of a sober clarity, you are really going to realize what you have to let go of in life. So you're finally going to have those major realizations. And this will allow you to move on onto a successful new chapter for the rest of the year. Also, if you wanna manifest around this full moon, you can do it on August 30th, August 31st, and you can open up a notes app or get a pen and paper, and you're gonna to wanna to write down what you have to let go of in life in order to lead the dream life that you desire. For example, you can write down, I'm letting go of bad habits habits, procrastination, toxic people, and bad situations in order to have my dream life. And then you can write out what that dream life is. And you want to write out this dream life in the present tense as if you already have it. And then take some time to visualize that you have this dream life. Now let's go over how each sign is affected by this full moon. Aries rising. So you're going to have major realizations as to what you need to let go of in life in order to improve your mental health and bring more peace of mind. So this is going to be a major time for introspection and looking in so that you can realize what you have to let go of in life and what you need to do differently in order to lead a much more balanced, peaceful, and successful life. You may be ridding yourself of addictions that have been plaguing your life. For example, addictions to bad habits or addictions to food or alcohol, etc. Taurus Risings, you're gonna be reconsidering the friends that you hold close and dear to you. So you may be thinking of letting go of certain friends that are toxic, or you may be establishing closer and deeper bonds with your friends, and you may be really relying on your friends for emotional support during this time. Because this full moon is also happening in your 11th house of dreams, hopes, and wishes, you are going to be making major moves towards accomplishing your dream life, and you're gonna be letting go of all of the things that have been holding you back from your wishes and your goals. Gemini Risings, you are going to be making major moves when it comes to your career. So you are going to be extremely productive, motivated, and hardworking. You'll be getting a lot of work done and out of the way. You'll also be reconsidering what you wanna do with your career. So you may be creating new strategies for career success. You're gonna be putting a lot of hard work into your career, and this is going to lead to a major payoff and massive success in the future. Cancer Risings, you may be putting a lot of work into your studies or into your education, and that should be going very well. So your studies should be flowing well you may be getting very high grades for example also you may be making travel plans as well or you may be saving for travel or if you don't have any educational plans or any traveling going on you can expect to gain a lot of wisdom around this time so you are going to be broadening your horizons with newfound knowledge and this is going to allow you to become a lot smarter leo risings you are going to be making major moves when it comes to your finances or your investments so a lot of financial strategizing and budgeting is going to lead to you securing the bag and securing more wealth in the future or you may be looking for new streams of revenue so you are going to be making major money moves which is going to to allow you to really make more money and improve your wealth in the future. Virgo Risings, you're going to have major realizations in the love department and you are going to be seeing the truth when it comes to your romantic relationships. And if you are unhappy in your romantic relationships, some of you may even leave a romantic partner. You're going to be making major decisions when it comes to your love life and changing things up in your love life. For example, you may be thinking of reconnecting with an ex, you may be thinking of changing things in your current relationship to improve your current relationship relationship, etc. Libra Risings, you are going to be putting in the work in your career. So you are going to be extremely productive at work. You'll be getting a lot of work done and out of the way, which may lead to you gaining some recognition in the workplace. Also, you may be making major moves or decisions surrounding your career, which is going to help benefit you and your career in the future. Also, you may be making major changes to your health and diet plans, which is going to allow you to lead a healthier lifestyle in the future. Scorpio Risings, you are going to be making massive reconsiderations to your love life and you may be making major moves in your love life.
life. You may have realizations in your love life. So you may be thinking of reconnecting with an ex or someone from your past, for example. You may be thinking of leaving a partner that you have, or you may be thinking of making major changes, major moves in your romantic relationships to improve your romantic relationships. So expect to make some sort of major decision when it comes to your love life. Sagittarius risings. Many of you will be thinking of relocating somewhere else. So you may be thinking of moving to a new city or moving to a new home. And some of you may be thinking of redecorating or refurnishing your home. You may also find yourself dealing with family matters. So there may be some conflicting situations that arise in your family, or you may be spending a lot of time with your family members. This is going to be a major time for introspection and looking inwards and figuring out what you need to do differently in your life in order to lead the life that you desire. So you're going to have major realizations that will help you grow as a person. Capricorn risings, you are going to be extremely productive, so you will be getting a lot of work done and out of the way. This is a great time for getting written projects done and out of the way. You'll be improving upon your routine, so you'll be able to create a much better schedule for yourself, which will lead to improved productivity in the future. Aquarius risings, you may be making major decisions when it comes to your finances. So you may be settling some sort of large debt, so you may be finally paying off something and this will improve your finances, or you may be rethinking how you want to budget. You may be coming up with new financial strategies, which will allow you to secure more wealth in the future. Pisces risings, the full moon is happening in your sign. So you are going to have the largest glow up and transformation of all of the signs. You are really going to be looking inwards and realizing what you need to change in life in order to make your dreams and goals come true. You may be making major changes to your appearance. So you may be changing the way that you do your hair, or you may be restyling your wardrobe, for example. You're going to be improving your reputation by making major changes to your personality and your ego which will allow you to project a better version of yourself out into the world you'll be gaining a lot of recognition and attention so you are going to be the main character around the full moon 